So we're going to go now through some of the um, common chart settings and advanced settings uh, for each of the tab, choice, unique, value, rank, score, compare. You have uh, some things that are similar, like you have here always the, the name and then what type of answers does it uh, solve. It's like this is for one question that is single or multiple select, but also for text, uh, sorry, for numbers, numeric here. And then you always have the question here where you can choose automatically. You can choose only the questions that can be analyzed by this type of, 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 of uh, chart. And then uh, you, uh, you can choose, like for example, uh, the camp. And then you have here a list of the camp on, and the frequency in percentage. You have here the number of how, how many, ins, how many, uh, what is the sample size for this particular question? Not always you have to respond to all the questions, so maybe it would change. And then you can always uh, also use segregation. I mean, uh, di disaggregation, like a second analysis here. So, for example, you can choose village. And then uh, from all of this, uh, you have, of course, you will have only for each camp one, one, one. But you could have, for example, the state of the superstructure by camp. So in camp one, two, three, four, five, you will have good and minor damage and severe damage. Uh, so this is uh, in all the in all the plots most of the time. And then you have also here what is called advanced settings. In advanced settings, you have options to exclude. So for example, here you have all the codes and if you type them, you can exclude them. So for example, NCA CHA. I can exclude this one and then I get one less. If I type also NCA CHI, I will exclude CHIKUNQUA, which is the first one here and it goes out and out and out and out. I can exclude, for example, other in this case. This also type there. And with this, you can create maybe a, a neater, neater plot. If you have a lot of empty ones, maybe why to show them? Maybe you need, but maybe you don't. Okay, wrapping labels. Maybe it, this is an interesting question to see in with this particular one, because here you see it's all messed up. But if we wrap labels sometimes, you get them better because they will be in two lines. It's not the case here because the, the names are without um, without the spaces. But let's see, uh, location, for example, maybe. No, because location has, but it, it, it creates, it, it does make like a, like Excel that will put them all straight or not. You see, it changed. This is not wrapped and this is wrapped. So it will go to different lines. Place options in ascending order. You can check yes or not. Usually I have it in yes because I like to see the plots going down. But uh, if you click no, it will sort the options as they are in the in the in the survey itself. But I like it to have it like this. Uh, next thing uh, we have it's the number grouping. In the previous video, uh, 8A, we have talked about these uh, models that you can do in the configuration. So this is the place where they start work, uh, uh, working. So we have had here um, the question number of female that use these particular latrines. And we have different models that you can choose how to bin them. If we choose model A, this, this, this question is a numeric question. So enumerators can type a number between one and I don't know, probably 30 or 40 or 50. I don't know. So instead of having here all, you can bin them in different bins. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the first one goes from zero to 10, from 10 to 20, from 20 to 30 and on and on. But if this is not good for you, maybe you can choose another one. This is from zero to five, five to 18, right? You can even create here a new one from zero to, to 10, and then from 10 to 30, and then from 30 to 50, and then more than 50. So this is model E that I have created, and I can come here and select model, 
model E, and then it, it will calculate accordingly. So this um, is very useful for, for numeric. And then um, the next thing, if we go to, for example, value, we have another advanced setting, the D, that is numerical function. When you use value to analyze data that is numbers, you can come here and get the average, the medium, which is not the same as the average. You can study a little bit what the difference is. I don't use it that much. The minimum and the maximum of the numeric answer so you can have them selected and then there is another one into rank which is called weight i'm not going to talk a lot but in ranking you can give more a predominant role to the more uh favored option and then a little bit less for the second a little bit less for the third four five up to six i don't use uh, rank that often so i'm not going to go too much into detail with this one and then a score has also a numerical function, but that's all.